everybody, it's Anthony, and today I have a treat for you. It finally came in the mail, not by an owl. That would have been really cool. Um, this is the stunning, I backed this on Kickstarter. I back a lot of decks on Kickstarter. I roll the dice, I laugh in the face of danger. <laughs> I do realize that there are fail um i do realize that there are risks involved with backing um kickstarter projects but this one because the artist and creator had already um created a deck and it was already successful and out in the world i was like ah, i can do it pretty much with very little um worried so this is the tabula mundi <laughs> um tarot that's a cool sticker. Oh gosh, there's so much. So, oh, it's so beautiful. So we've got the tree of life. Check out, I'm hoping my camera's going to pick it up. Check out the backs. Holographic, what? It's so amazing. <gasps> Shut up. I didn't realize that that's like, I saw when we, the Kickstarter was going on, but look at that. I'm like, I'm like a magpie when it comes to shiny things, so I could probably just be like, mm, back of the card. But I think this is going to go on the tarot wall, the famous tarot wall. It's all of these beautiful pieces of paper, and I'm really tired. <laughs> all right. Um, oh, there's some files, files. Q, Q. So there's a whole bunch of extras that we get, so that's... And then, oh, 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 man, like, these are, like, printed, um, printed, <laughs> I got the devil, the blood oil, look at the devil, oh my gosh, so pretty, that's from the, um, the black and white, I'm kind of a bit bummed that I didn't get back the black and white one too, that's definitely going on the tarot wall, it's stunning. Um, oh, look, <gasps> but they're so beautiful and they're colored and there's the devil in the color. So I got, I, you tend to like colored decks better than, um, more than, uh, black and white. Although my taste seems to be changing a little bit. So I did actually not get the black and white one, even though I saw it. Right. Deck. And I've been a good girl. This has been, this came over, uh, just under a week ago. And uh, I, um, I've been holding on to it. And this, I'm number 138 in this beautiful box. Uh, I think it went out, like the, the link went out um, to back the project because I had the, the alert on and I backed it like straight away. <laughs> Beautiful. This is, oh, and it's signed. Look at that. This was a wildly successful Kickstarter campaign. So pretty. I have decks that are fancier than most clothes in my wardrobe. All the ones that I wear at the moment anyway. Ain't that the whoa? Ain't that the truth? Oh, okay. So that, like the, yeah, you can pull it out, and that's so beautiful. What a gorgeous box. And then we've got the book. It's embossed. It reminds me of that scene in American Psycho. <laughs> it's white, white. Um, so we got a little white book that's been beautiful with the ribbon. And there's a whole bunch of, um, as I was saying, there's a whole lot of digital downloads. Um, as well oh, check it out so glad I got this deck so now we just have to get into this oh there we go um, and this is not a paid endorsement or anything guys like this I like I said I purchased this deck okay so again the backs so let's just have one more Back appreciation. If I can get my sodden camera, there we go. Look, Ooh. Oh, 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 sexy. I'm bringing sexy back. Yep. 
The Mother Taros don't have the hologram. Nope. <laughs> I need help. All right, I don't know if I'm gonna go through all of them, but I'm going to show you a few Ace of Wands. And it says, Root of the Powers of Fire. So this is based on the Thoth. Two of Wands, Dominion. Come on camera, sort your crap out. And we have the alchemical, the astrological symbols down the bottom. Oh, look at that bee. So pretty. Oh, this deck is stunning. So for this deck, right, like even if you don't read with it, the, the study guide to this deck would be amazing. Now I know all of the colors were intentionally and specifically selected and used for these decks due to the color, like due to its um, meaning. Um, and with that, whether that's linked to the tarot card or the alchemical side of it or the astrological side of it, there was, there's always a reason why. So um, this deck is extremely well thought out. So let's get some, oh, look at this beauty, holy cow. Like my camera is not doing the detail of these cards justice. Beautiful water horses. This It's so vibrant in real life, by the way, guys. I've got this, <laughs> it's pitch black because it's Vancouver and it's raining, it hasn't stopped raining for weeks. Um, so I have, um, my studio lights on and this is why it looked like a vampire uh, so pasty but uh that's why things looked a little washed out um it's not the deck itself it's my um camera the knight of cups oh she's beautiful prince queen prince princess okay so that that's the um court Ooh, I got me an eyeball. Ace of Swords. So beautiful. So these decks I, f I find like really good for, um, really good for learning with the, like the root of the powers of earth. The, the keywords. Um, I mean, you could trim this if you wanted to get rid of these borders. I wouldn't dare. <laughs> I wouldn't dare. Not on, on, on a deck like this. No way. I would be way too um, nervous. Oh, the bees are killing me. They're so beautiful. And I love that. Knight of Pentacles was my card for this year. Gorgeous. It's absolutely beautiful. Okay, let's, like, the fool. Oh, just, just look at that. It's like, ah, oh, universes and portals and same thing. You know, you can see there, this is going in, right? The fool is kind of going in. And then here we have it coming back out. In, out, in, out. It's such a perfect, like, freaking... <laughs> representation of I think coming up is probably my one of my most favorite Empress cards I've ever seen in my life she's so beautiful look at those bees the pomegranate like the hive heart like the shield and then that like the open door oh, just oh the major arcana in this deck is disgustingly beautiful <laughs> Talons with like the alchemical creatures. <laughs> the chariot. So great. Oh, adjustment. Beautiful. Oh, 
Oh, look at that fortune card. Look at the owl. I love the myth mythological creatures in this, like, really, really loving it. Look at that. The back door of the brain, and there's that moth coming out of there, that little... There's so much in these. I, like... Yes. Wow, you have done an incredible freaking job. <clears throat> These are just divine. I'm almost scared to shuffle them. It's like my Dalinoff, you know, it's such a precious, my precious um, deck. And I have the Dalinoff that has no rounded edges. I could round it off, I guess. Um, so I really struggle with not um, not shuffling it because <coughs> I'm afraid to. Um, beautiful deck, great cardstock, lovely and thick, nice and thick and juicy. That's the card that I pulled. There's so much here, like Stonehenge and then the dragon. The snake and the ombre egg, the seed with the oh, it's just like the jeweled egg. There's so much going on here that you could literally journal about um, the symbology on the the symbols on these cards. And I think that's probably what I'd end up doing when I work with them. So anyway, I'm super freaking impressed. Um, beautiful, beautiful pre presentation and packaging as well. So that's the Tabula, Tabula Mundi coloured edition. Um, I believe she has some available still. I'll put the link to where you can get it below. And um, thank you so much for watching.